Hey ladies and gentlemen, Simon here with another episode of Naruto to watch episode number 12 and I think there may have been a little bit of misunderstanding on my part in the last episode of regards to how um, people were talking about Kaiser um, who was Anari's adopted father. Um, you know, we learned a lot about his backstory and how he came into um, the village's life um, as an inspirational kind of role model, as someone who the village looked up to and someone who saved the village um, up until Gotto arrived and put down any kind of dissent in the, the cruelest way. And I guess it was because, um, firstly, I didn't realize that the picture that Inari had was the torn photo from the family photo frame. I thought it was a separate one, and I thought the photo had just been torn out as if to um, say he doesn't exist in our lives anymore. And I think it was the sort of the line where they were talking about he was someone that the village used to know as a hero. And I kind of took that as them saying, well, the village did used to think of him as a hero, but they don't anymore. Um, which I don't know if that's just a translation thing or if it's just, again, me just kind of taking it out of context completely. Um, but, you know, again, you guys in the comments, you let me know that it was actually more that the villagers were scared of thinking of him and praising him because Gato runs a, a fairly tight ship and suppresses, you know, again, anyone who's against him with a very heavy hand. So um, now that I understand that it kind of gives us a different look into, you know, um, you know, everything that's going on. And, you know, I, the one thing I did get spot on was to say that, you know, even though Inari was being harsh, he's a kid. You know, I said in the review that I understand why he would react that way because kids don't quite understand that sometimes, you know, you make promises that you just can't keep. Sometimes it's out of your control. You know, Kaiser did everything he absolutely could to be a role model for Inari, to be an upstanding person and to be, you know, that, uh, to keep that promise that he made. And, um, it was just because someone bigger and stronger than him came along and he stood up to them and unfortunately they killed him. You know, it's a tragedy, but Inari can't process that. He just thinks of it as a letdown, which again, it would be harsh if that was an adult saying that, but with being an Ari, he's a kid. He doesn't understand, so it's something you can forgive. And that is something that I understood and I mentioned at the end of the episode. So, you know, it wasn't that I completely misread everything, but it was, uh, it was a really good episode. It was a good backstory, and it gave me a lot more hatred of Gotto. And um, I really can't wait to see that bloody... I'm, I'm going to try and... I'm not going to use language. That bloody bad person gets what he deserves. That's what I'm going to say. Um, you know, and in, in mixed in with that, we saw the village very reminiscent of North Korea, you know, lack of food on the shelves, children starving on the streets, one decadent ruler, you know, living in luxury, you know, but he has a sort of iron grip on the country, doesn't allow any kind of, um, you know, he doesn't allow anyone to step out of line. Everything is done his way. So it's very much, and I do believe it probably is taken from North Korea that they were trying to uh, give us a metaphor of. Um, but it was a really good episode. So we're going to jump into this next one, episode number 12. Uh, before we do, I want to say a big thank you to my Patreon super supporters, Frank Tremel, Karen Abel, Ace, Nick Walters, The Seven Deadly Sins, Damon Smallwood, Michael Y, Irish Cal, and Rich Affer. So without further ado, let us jump in to Naruto episode 12. Uh oh. Naruto? Has he passed out from exhaustion? Yeah, that's a chance meeting, eh? What is this? Naruto is a goofy kid, but he's also a full fledged ninja. He can handle himself. Sakura's right. Naruto yeah. Is such a loser. He's probably lying out there dead somewhere. And Sasuke wouldn't care. Going for a walk. But we just started eating. Or is he gonna go find Naruto? Maybe he does care. That was fast. 
Uh oh. You can't. Is Naruto gonna help? Oh, Naruto doesn't know he's helping Zabuza heal. He has no idea who he's talking to. <laughs> Is there someone who's precious to you? Oh. Who... No. What are you saying, sis? What do you mean precious? Do you say sis? How can people just walk past starving kids? Oh no. The dog's starving as well. I know it's not real, but it makes me feel terrible. Oh no, it's got puppies. Is there enough to share? I hate this. I really hate this. When a person has something precious that they want to protect, then they become genuinely strong. Hmm. But Naruto doesn't have anyone like that. I'll protect you with my life. All of you. Yeah. Master and student. Father, son. I'm a boy. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's not a bad thing. Now he meets another one of the the group. Is is Sasuke going to be a bit more savvy and realize who it is? And Sasuke hasn't come back either. I wonder where they are. Uh-oh. Oh god. Naruto can climb that high now using his chakra? Well, the hard work paid off. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, he hang on. Was he playing a trick? Oh god. He was tricking him. I'm still sane by the time I finish their training, it'll be a miracle. Yeah, me too. Oh, well, they made it as high as they can go. Has Sakura just given up training, or...? Oh, okay. <laughs> You're gonna need a good night's sleep first. Oh, dear. Ah, uh, yeah, you can see the rip, the, the bottom of the photo. But why? Will you be quiet? Just looking at you makes me sick. You don't know anything about the That's... Country. You're just butting in. Always it's very harsh. You don't know what it's like to suffer and be treated like dirt. That's not necessarily true. He's... Like some sorry little victim. Yeah, he's gonna fight back, Naruto. In your hands. He's pushed his body to the limit. <laughs> Look at him. I think that's the first time I've seen him in something other than his uh, orange get up. Why do I look wobbly? Where is everybody? Where'd they all go? Oh, Naruto. She looks a lot like Sakura, just with different coloured hair. I knew it! They ditched me! You're supposed to be looking after him. Oh. Was that a mole? Oh no, they knocked out all the workers. What happened? 
It could have been worse, they could have killed them. Oh no, Inari's gone as well. No. <gasps> oh no. Gato sent his own men. I see you've still got those brats with you. Yep. That one's still trembling. Pitiful. There he is. Oh no, there's multiple of them. Oh no. So it seems. Is he gonna recognize the voice? Or would Naruto recognize the voice? Okay, so this is uh this is bad. This is bad for Inari and uh his mum. Cause Gotto sent his own men to go and deal with presumably anyone who's staying at the house. Whether they thought that the bridge builder was going to be there, I'm not sure. Because they went, obviously, in contact with Gotto. Uh, oh, sorry, with Zabuza. Um, and Naruto has left, so they've got no no one to defend them. Um, maybe Naruto is going to swing back, because I'm sure he... I think it might have been a mole, an injured mole. So maybe he's going to look after it and then take it back to the house, and maybe he'll encounter the the two swordsmen before they're able to hurt anyone um and then we'll get like two separate battles we could get like a battle at the house where naruto has to face off against two really dangerous swordsmen and then we get the battle on the bridge which i'm really torn over because you know the more that i learn about haku the the less that i want there to be a fight because you know i sympathize with haku you know, the fact that he grew up extremely poor, um, starving on the streets, you know, presumably no family or friends, and Zabuza was the one who helped save him. You know, and obviously he seems to have a, a strong connection to Zabuza, whether there's any kind of romantic feelings there, who knows. Um, I think it's certainly insinuated that um, there is a very, very strong connection there. Obviously, you would feel like something like that for someone who saved your life and probably mentored you. Um, and, you know, it, it really is good because it shows you that Zabuza, when he's first introduced, we think, oh, he's this big bad villain. And we've learned so much more about him, you know, that it makes you question, is he just doing the stuff that he's doing because he's scared, because he's, you know, on the run and he wants his cover to be kept up? Um I mean, I'm, there's no doubt that he's probably got the ability to be bad, to be evil. But I mean, he saved Haku from starvation. He, you know, presumably mentored him and watched over him. It's not typically something you you do as a completely evil person, you know, because it seems like they are equals. You know, if if he was a real bad guy, I'd expect Haku to be his subordinate, to be someone he probably mistreated. But it seems like, you know, there is a mutual appreciation there and that they are equals. So that says to me that Zabaz is not as bad as I first thought he was. Um, also, we're, we're seeing more friendship develop, I think, between Sasuke and, uh, and Naruto. Because, you know, Sasuke tried to disguise his worry uh, as, like, going out for a walk. But the moment he thought that Naruto could be in trouble, like, out in the forest... He went to go and find him, you know, um, and the interaction between Naruto and Haku was interesting. You know, Haku obviously recognizing him from the fight. Um, and again, a bad person probably could have taken the chance to kill him there and he didn't. So that says, you know, again, shades of gray with these characters. Um, but damn, looks like we're going to be getting some kind of a fight next episode. Which, uh, you know, I want the bridge builders to succeed. I want the bridge to be built. I want Gotto to go down. Um, and maybe they'll work together. Maybe there will be something that they can do that can, you know, achieve that goal. But who knows right now? It's going to be difficult, you know. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be real good. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, as always, give the video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Let me know in the comments. 
and I will see you for the next one.